So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Sapphire Trick software and all the features that are available on the Nitro branded series of cards. As the features do vary between the Sapphire branded models, the Pulse series has less features available on the Trick software, whereas the Nitro series has two extra options such as the Fan Health Check and also the Nitro Glow. At the end of the video, I'll also be going over custom fan curves briefly, so stick around to the end if you wanna learn how to do that too. Anyways, let's jump into the video. Once you've downloaded and installed the Trick software, you'll be presented with a dashboard tab which displays your current graphics card specifications as well as some quick overview information, such as GPU clock, memory clock, GPU temperature, GPU load, and your GPU voltage. Also on this tab, you can save a report file that lists your current specifications as well as your current AMD driver and your BIOS version that you're running in a text file. And the button next to that is the BIOS backup, which allows you to back up your current running BIOS settings in case you want to revert to a previous version of the software at some point. And finally, in the dashboard tab for the Nitro range cards is the V BIOS section. Here, you can quickly switch from your primary or to your secondary BIOS profile without having to open your case and physically flick the dual BIOS switch on the card itself. Next is the hardware monitor tab. This lists more detailed information on your overall health of your card, such as memory temperatures, current fan speeds, GPU power draw, memory voltage, and so on and so on. This tab has no active options that are either tweakable or changeable. It's purely just to show you that your card is actually running within optimal levels and that you can diagnose a problem if one happens to occur. Onto the third tab, and this is the Trix Boost that allows you to downscale multiple resolutions at once using the adjustment slider. This gives you more options to gain extra frames per second on your favorite games by roughly 5% to 20%, depending on how much image quality you're willing to sacrifice for performance. I like to downscale by around 15%. I still think you get amazing sharp details, especially when downscaling from 4K resolutions. But I also feel the benefit of that smoother gameplay when I do this as well, which is a win-win. Now, if you want to use this particular feature when using a 1080p monitor, first you'll need to turn on the virtual super resolution in the Radeon Adrenaline software. First, open up the menu by right clicking on the desktop and selecting the AMD software. Then head over to the gaming tab and select the global display. Here you can find the virtual super resolution. This will allow you to set multiple downscaled resolutions in the Trix software. Finally, the last option on this tab is the Radeon Image Sharpening Tool. This nifty little feature adds in extra details into your game by using the Contrast Adapted Sharpening algorithm, helping those subtle details pop out so much more. And if you combine it with a resolution scaler, it's a real game changer. Plus the fact it almost has zero performance loss, meaning you may lose a frame or two at most, so that means you can just turn it on and forget about it and enjoy all the extra details your games will bring you. Next is the Fan Health Check. This tab only features on the Nitro range of cards and only has one job really, is to check the health of your fans obviously. By starting the fan test, it will max out the speed of your fans to check if any problems occur. If something isn't quite right, the fan will be highlighted in red. Now, if you happen to lose a fan, there's nothing to worry about as Sapphire have got you covered with the quick fan connect feature. This makes it super easy to replace a fan head without having to send the whole card back to the manufacturer to get it replaced. So you can continue to use your card with the two fans that are currently spinning and wait for the replacement head to arrive and then quickly install it. Also, if you choose to wish on the Sapphire Nitro RX 5700 XT, you're able to purchase upgradable clear fan heads to make your card really stand out with the RGB functions. And the final tab is the Nitro Glow. Here you can customize your graphics cards RGB LEDs to however you please with a range of colorful options to choose from. Also, you can synchronize your card with LEDs throughout your case using the three pin RGB header on the back of the card to get that perfect theme throughout your entire setup. It's important to note this feature is only available to the Nitro range of cards as well. So you won't be able to use this on the Pulse cards whatsoever. Now, if you're also curious on how to set up your fan curves, this can be done through the Adrenaline software. To do this, simply load up the AMD software by right clicking on the desktop or pressing Alt R on the keyboard. Click on the performance tab and then the sub tab tuning. Your card normally will be set on automatic, which I think does a fairly good job for the most part. But if you want your card running cooler quicker, click on the manual button, then enable the fan tuning. 
The first adjustable option that you'll see is the max fan speed. Your fans will automatically ramp up speed the hotter your graphics card gets, but once the card hits its maximum temperature threshold, which is set at 80 Celsius by default, your card will run at the max fan speed that you have set. The default of this is 45%, but here I change it up to 70 to push more air on the card when it needs it. If you would like finer controls, click on the advanced control menu. Here you can set your fan curves to however you desire. For example, if I want to change the position to fan speed dial from 12% up to 35%, when the card raises its temperature to the position to threshold, which is set at default 50 degrees, the fans will increase speed to my set speed. And now you can do this across all five positions here and customize it however you like to get the fan curves that you feel suits your needs.